Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. It's kind of like you got to, in other, anyone can put on a trade. Uh, it, it's just a question of understanding what the product is, what the leverage is, uh, what the execution capabilities are. To me, that's very important, execution. I mean, it, nothing bothers me more than to do my homework, get a setup, place an order, get the trade, have the market trade at me, and not get filled, or have some type of an issue with the execution. Um, the markets are illiquid. There's just nothing there. There's, the, you know, the, there's too wide of a bid and ask. There's not enough volatility in the underlying market. There's not enough interest in, the, say, for example, the options. Execution is key. And so you need a product that has deliverable execution. And the ISE, believe it or not, because I've traded them and I trade them, the ISE's index, especially the Euro index, is something that's an extremely, incredibly viable product to get executed on most of their uh, options and option strategies. And so we're going to discuss that as well today. Um, in order to get that far, most traders need to identify, A, what are the market conditions? What are we going to do? Are we going up, down, or sideways? So I don't care who you are, what kind of trader you are. If you're a directional trader, that's important information to understand. Are we in a bullish cycle or bearish cycle? Where are we in a market phase? Um, and I think a lot of traders have a lot of hard time struggling with staying with trending market conditions. They just have this innate feeling or fear that they're in a good trade, the market's moving their direction. They just don't have that capacity of confidence or maybe experience um, to stay with the, a, a winning trade long enough. And I bet you if I polled the audience right now and I asked, What's your biggest problem that you want to overcome? I bet you a majority of people would say, I don't hang on to my winning trades long enough. The other side of the coin is, and I've polled audience before, a lot of people say they don't get out of their winning trades early enough, and they end up turning them into losers. So it's it, the fine point of, I guess, it boils down to, execution, knowing when to exit a, a trade as well. Entering's easy, it's exiting. A, a good friend of mine, um, and, and I will mention his name because um, it's uh, a, a software company as well as brokerage, TradeStation Securities. And TradeStation is a, is a platform uh, you know, for doing market research and analysis I used since 4.0 was out with Omega Research. So, I mean, I've been using their, their software for well over now into my second decade. And, and I'd have to say, he came up with this line, which was just key, and he got it from someone else. So I just thought I'd give credit where credit's due and pass it on to you, see if this analogy makes sense. Trading is kind of like flying a plane. It's important to have a flight plan. So you have to kind of know where you're going to go. You have to do your research, your homework, know what the weather conditions are. There's a checklist of things that you want to do. Taking off is easy, but it's also probably the most important thing is to understand how your landing gear is, because taking off real easy. It's landing that's the hard part, right? So you want to make sure that your landing gear is intact. And, and so for trading, I think getting into a trade is real easy for most people. It's, it's the exiting. It's the exiting of the strategy that's the hard part. Um, and I think that the information that we're going to discuss today may help you in understanding, um, A, when a trend begins, and also as well as when a trend ends, because we gotta, you know, it's it. There's there's all kinds of axioms in this in 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 the marketplace. I mean, you've heard the the phrase, the trend is your friend and tr until it ends. And okay, well, when is that? We don't know. Well, I've got some techniques that may help you in today's uh, presentation. So identify when a trend exhausts itself or ceases to exist is, is what a lot of traders struggle with, as well as setting profit and loss points of interest. And um, I think a lot of traders struggle with the fact that they just don't understand seasonalities of the marketplace. Now, most 
markets, believe it or not, demonstrate seasonal price patterns. There's uh, inflow of capital at end of quarter, fiscal year, uh, a lot of multinational conglomerate corporations expatriate monies. Uh, you know, they have uh, payrolls to meet, they have earning forecasts to meet, uh, they have to adjust their books. So there's a lot of flows that go back and forth, and so this has impacts on currency valuations in the short term as well as the long term with how fiscal monetary policies are set. You've got fiscal policy changes dictated by bills, enactment, tax um, credits or easements or restrictions uh, that are imposed by governments. You also have monetary uh, stimulus, which can be done through central bank intervention. Easing, tightening events can take place, raising lower interest rates, increasing restrictions as well. Um, that's why we look at uh, repo rates, we look at uh, interbank rates, and the LIBOR rates. So it's very important to see where someone's going to get their best bang for their money on interest and what interest banks are being charged to each other. So these are the kind of, just in a quick synopsis, of, of certain things that can affect the long and short-term direction of foreign currencies, uh, or at least one currency against, as we're talking about, the euro versus the U.S. dollar. So if you are trading, you're looking for opportunity. And I think today's presentation may strike you. Maybe it can help you in the next coming weeks and months ahead. Certainly pay attention to what we're talking about today for next year, because this is now the third year in a row I've been seriously talking it to the general public and it's been something that works very well. So stocks, commodities, and even foreign currencies have a strong tendency to demonstrate um, these seasonal patterns, but the moves can be either muted or magnified depending on several factors, economic turmoil, political events, such as we had last year, the presidential election, and of course, fiscal policy changes. And uh, we're seeing a lot of that still continue right now with presidential, not just presidential election, but we're also seeing that right now with the elections that are coming in the Senate, in the Senate race. We just saw what has happened in, in Massachusetts with the uh, election from uh, Democrat to Republican upset. And, and as we start to see that more changes may take place in the Senate, if there's a less of a control of Democrats, and many of you are probably familiar with this, I'm sure you, you can understand and relate, that as we start to lose democratic control, it makes it more difficult for bills to be passed because, as we are all aware, we truly do not have bipartisan uh, cooperation still. And um, I think that we will continue as market traders to be more comfortable with the fact that things stay status quo than being filled with uncertainty, because uncertainty brings and breeds fear, and markets don't like fear. Remember that. So the markets have always liked status quo, and so the less control we have, the less fact or the less potential there is for bills to be passed and whatnot. And that's just been something that I was taught some 28 years ago, and it's still relevant as we are talking in today's environment. So um, elections can certainly play a role in markets. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.